welcome back to another video of teaching model of Brunner for meaningful learning. This is the second part. Those who have not watched the first part, I suggest them to watch first part to get a clear cut understanding of part 2. The link of the part 1 has mentioned in the description box. So please check out. So let's begin with the today's video. Brunner's concept attainment model of teaching for meaningful learning. So let's start from the theoretical background. So the concept attainment model belongs to the family of information processing model which is based on applied cognitive psychology. In the year 1956, Jerome Seymour Brunner, who was an American psychologist along with his associates, developed this teaching model. So the main purpose of developing this teaching model is to enable the learner to learn new concepts. Generally in schools, the students need to learn many concepts and therefore the idea behind developing this concept attainment model was to enable the student to attain a new concept or to learn a new concept. Therefore, the concept attainment model is an important model of teaching. According to Brunner, there are two factors which are highly essential for learning a concept. These factors are generalization and categorization. Generalization means finding out similarities among different objects whereas categorization means finding out differences among different objects. So generalization and categorization are two important factors which are essential for a person to learn a new concept according to Brunner. Again Brunner also says that concept is the basic tool of thinking. For example just observe the box. If I ask to describe the box how will you describe? You may probably say that the color of the box is brown, it is rectangular in shape, it is a 3D object. Now all these words which you use to describe this box like color rectangular in shape, brown in color, it is a 3D object, all these words are nothing but a concept which you might say by using your thought process. Therefore concept is the basic tool of thinking. So in order to understand the meaning of the concept in more detail, let us do an exercise. So here I have given some pictures of different animals and your task is to observe all the animals and find out the similarities and differences and group them in all possible ways. Yes, all the animals are different as well as similar on the basis of different criteria. So let's do another exercise. So here the same pictures are given but the only difference is that here I have uh, marked them with tick mark and cross mark. So you have to identify the similarity that exist among the animals marked with tick. Yes, you are very correct. All the animals marked with tick are come under one category that they are herbivorous animal. Even if they have different colors, different incisors and shape, but still they are herbivorous animal and they have one common thing which is their food habit. So what is a concept? A concept is nothing but grouping the objects on the basis of some common quality in spite of some differences in that. So now let us see the basic elements of concept. So generally 
A concept has four basic elements such as name, attribute, attribute value and example. So now let us discuss each element one by one. Look at the picture. These are different in size, shape, color and taste. Yet they form a concept. Can you say what, what is the concept? Yes, you are correct. This is the concept of fruit. So here fruit is the name of the concept. But how can we define fruit? Well, we can define fruit like fruit formed from flower. Generally it tastes sweet. It has sweet fragrance, juicy Although different in color, shape, size, taste, yet it form one concept which is fruit. For example, banana is different from apple and banana is also different from mango. But all these three are come under one category, one concept which is called a fruit. So fruit is basically the name of a concept it is the first element which is name so, so the first element is name every concept must have certain name or more than one name the second element is example so earlier we took the example of the concept of fruit so now concept have series of inferences so what does it mean so series of inferences means you can draw many assumptions or inferences from the term concept once you categorize something under fruit you must infer or assume that it must have some sweet taste it must be juicy it cannot stay long so all these are inference again another thing is concept are broader than example once you say fruit banana apple oranges are example but concept are broader let's take an example so here look at the picture it is a picture of apple so apple is generally red in color the skin is shiny usually sweet in taste but at the same time we can also infer that it is edible juicy and if we kept open after cutting the apple or if we uh, exposed the apple to the air after cutting then it will become red and then black in color so this means concept is broader than its example now now observe this picture can you observe some changes yes this is the picture of apple in different color now you have to change your opinion or inference that you have made earlier because all apple are not in red. Some are green, some are maroon and also yellowish. That means the characteristic that we took into consideration at the beginning that apple must be red that we have to change. So here we can say that there are some attributes or characteristics which are essential attribute and some are non-essential attribute. We have to find out the essential attribute. So attribute is the third element of a concept. So attributes are nothing but the characteristics of an object or event. So attributes are of two type 
one is essential attribute and another is non essential attributes so essential attributes are those characteristics which are similar and same and that one attribute is enough to differentiate them from other object or concept for example the taste of every kind of apple is similar so here taste is an essential attribute similarly you might have seen dogs of different breed they differ in their shape size and color but one thing or one common characteristic which is similar across all the dogs are the style of barking all the dogs bark in similar way so here barking style is essential attribute which makes dog differentiate with other animal therefore essential attributes are such attribute which are similar so here apple may be of different color there is red apple maroon apple green apple yellowish apple but the taste the taste is similar every color of apple have similar taste so taste is essential attributes non essential attributes if we consider the above example then the color and sizes of apple may be different thus color and sizes are non essential attribute the attribute which differ from one to another similar kind of object is non essential attribute in the case of apple apples are different in color different in sizes so therefore the color the red maroon yellowish green these colors are non essential attribute similarly if we consider the another example of dog then the color sizes and shape of the dog are also changes from one breed to another breed so therefore the color sizes and shape of dog are non essential attribute so the last element is attribute value attribute value is that particular range or area which are acceptable for an object or concept to better understand let's take an example if we consider dogs they have different sizes but there is an acceptable range of that attribute such as dogs are not as small as squirrel and not as big as cow this acceptable range is called attribute value so for better understanding of the concept attainment model two thing need to understand first one is positive example and another is negative example so positive example are the example having essential attribute that means all the examples that possesses essential attribute is called positive example similarly if we talk about the negative example then when the essential attribute is missing then that example is called negative example so this is it for today's session next session in part 3 we will discuss about the elements of ca model its merits and educational implications for watching my video for more such educational videos please like share and subscribe